Hey you all, it's Amber from the Ostomy Diaries. When it comes to ostomy pouches, there are so many different options out there. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you all about some of the different types of bags, some of the different features on those. This is going to be part one of three of a series I'm doing. In this video, I'm going to specifically be covering Hollister brand bags. I'm going to do Coloplast and Convitec later. So without further ado, let's get to it. To start things off, I want to show you something that I wish I had known. My very first order, I went to an Ostomy product store. I ordered these bags. They make closed-in bags and they make drainable bags. So these closed-in bags are typically, not always, but typically for people with a colostomy. If you have a colostomy, you don't have to empty your bag as frequently as someone with an ileostomy. I have an ileostomy and I drink probably a pot of coffee every single day. I would go through a box of these every single day. Like I said, typically ileostomates do not use the closed in pouches. These are for people who might be able to irrigate or they only empty one to two times a day. This is 18323. This is the bag that I typically wear. It's Hollister's Lock and Roll Ostomy Pouch. You can fold the end up after you empty it, and then there's a little Velcro piece, and you just snap it shut, and that's how it works. You unsnap it, go empty it, roll it back up, snap it closed. This is Hollister 18183. There is another type of drainable ostomy pouch out there. This is a drainable ostomy bag. You can see that it's not closed on the end, but this one you close with a clip. You push the clip in to open it. You can put the ostomy right here and then you just snap this shut and wait until it clicks. It is drainable, but it uses an ostomy clip. So as you've probably noticed by now, Hollister does make a few different transparencies, if you will, on their bags. This is ultra clear. When you go to Hollister's website, if you're looking at a particular bag, there's a chart. You can order certain types of bags in ultra clear. As you can see, you can really see through this one. They also make, this one is just listed as transparent. It's more frosted. And just for, in my opinion, by feeling these, the frosted transparent looking ones feel a little more durable. This one feels a little more plasticky. I, if I was going to do clear, I like this one better. And they have this one. It's listed as opaque on the charts on Hollister's website. You can't see through these. I like this one the best. This is what I typically wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm a weirdo and every time I would eat something new, I'd be like, all right, I just drank a blue slushy. Wonder how that's gonna affect my output. And y'all, I would stare at my output through this bag. I will say that right after surgery, your surgeon may want you to wear a transparent or ultra clear bag. I know for me personally, I had some GI bleeding due to Crohn's disease, so I wore one of these for about six to eight weeks after surgery just to make sure that I didn't have a lot of blood in my output. It made me feel better to have the clear one right after surgery, and my surgeon did recommend that just so I could keep an eye on things. Another thing that you might have noticed in looking at different ostomy pouches, some of them have a little filter on there and some of them don't. This one does not have a filter. So the ones with the filter have a little bit of charcoal in there and it lets odors pass through it and the charcoal is supposed to neutralize those odors. This is the mini lock and roll drainable ostomy pouch. It also has a filter. It is 18282. You can see that when the lock and roll closure is rolled up at the bottom, it is pretty much smaller than my hand. 
I love this when I'm going swimming or I'm wearing something that's tighter and I want to be discreet as possible. I love these mini pouch options. All of the bags that I've shown you so far are part of a two-piece system. So with a two-piece system, the bag will pop off and then pop on the flange, kind of like a Tupperware lid. This snaps onto the flange or wafer um, like a Tupperware lid. That's how I describe it to everyone. So a review on some of the ostomy bags. What Whatever bag you like, there's probably an option that works best for you. If you like one of the transparent ones with a filter or you want to try that, then just type in that product number on Hollister's website. Then it will bring up all the different options for that pouch and all the different transparencies and all the different sizes. Now I'm going to briefly talk about some one-piece options from Hollister. One thing that you do need to be aware of when you're ordering one-piece systems is if you use a flat or if you use a convex ostomy bag. You can see this one piece has kind of a, a um, curve right here in the flange part even though it's attached because this is a convex bag. You would use a convex flange or convex one piece system if your stoma is flush with your skin or retracted. The convexity kind of makes it easier to get a good seal and that's much needed for some people. This is a cut to fit one piece bag. It is transparent and it has one of the filters at the top. This is 8331. It is lock and rolls and it just snaps shut. It's just like the other lock and rolls whenever it starts to fill up you undo that velcro empty it on the back here the flange type thing is attached that's what makes it a one piece so you can't pop the bag off or pop it on this is all one system this is a cut to fit these lines here indicate where you should cut to fit your stoma if your stoma is 32 millimeters there's a line here that says 32 millimeters and you just cut to that line and then put the system on again this is 8331. This is another option for one pieces. This does have convexity. It is cut to fit as well. It's a lock and roll drainable and it has a filter. This will cut to fit up to 25 millimeters. So with the cut to fit one piece systems, make sure that you get one. This one will cut to fit up to 64 millimeters. This one only cuts to fit up to 25. So when you're looking at the different one piece products, make sure you know the size of your stoma so you can get one that cuts to fit up to that size. Or once you know that your stoma is the size that it's probably gonna be, you can start pre-ordering some that are pre-cut. There's so many bags out there and this just scratched the surface of a few of my favorite Hollister bags. Definitely, definitely check out Hollister's website. There are so many different bags on there that you can browse and read about and see what might work best for you. If y'all have any questions, please drop them below in the comments or email me at ostomydiaries at gmail.com. Check me out on social media at ostomydiaries and subscribe to my YouTube channel part two and part three where I talk about some Coloplast and Comitec bags is coming soon and you don't want to miss it, so subscribe. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!